Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Yes, today we're going to be taking the Dunkirk out in her new colours. I completed the mission and got the camouflage. Um, if you couldn't guess this boat was French beforehand, maybe this will help. You know, the whole front third of it being the tricolor. Um, hmm. Now, yes, I know I've taken the Dunkirk out before and done a video on it, um, but uh, I thought this was worth doing. I thought this was worth doing, not only just to show you the paint job, but because we have the Cyclone Captain in there as well. Uh, the 19-point Cyclone Captain. Hmm. So let's see what a difference a 19-point Captain makes, shall we? Right, let's look at the numbers. 52,604 hit points. We have some armor. Not a huge amount of armor, but uh, the uh, the armor belt and uh, citadel armor here, um, they're not bad. They're not bad. As long as you don't go broadside in this, you can bounce an awful lot. So, yeah, it's not terrible, you know, the old armor in this. And it's a bit trolly, actually. If you... Uh, sit about this angle and make it difficult if you're too broadside much more than that yeah they will give you a bad day uh, but this kind of angling seems pretty good seems to work artillery wise we have two quad mounted 330 millimeter batteries um, again they're pretty good guns 9700 AP damage 4800 HE max damage and 35% fire chance so yeah if you've got somebody straight on at you um, you could always set them on fire and they're pretty good they are pretty good the reload on these is 28 seconds which is nice if we have a quick look at the captain uh, quick look at the skills here you'll see we've got priority target you'll see we have jack of all trades uh, smoke screen expert which is no good whatsoever on a battleship obviously do have adrenaline rush which is very nice we do have last stand superintendent basic and advanced firing training so yeah everything apart from this is pretty useful I mean you you know you could go for uh, which is the the quicker reload well that might be a, a module actually but um, quicker reload there we go expert loader uh, if you're swapping shell types that could be useful but uh, other than that uh, I don't know it, it's a bit of an all-rounder that particular uh, captain setup it's not great for uh, battleships but it's not bad for it Secondary armament, we have two twin mounted 130s firing out 6.6 .6 kilometers, 9% uh, fire chance, 1900 max damage, and three quad batteries again, 130 me uh, millimeters, 130 meters. Wow, that's a big gun! Uh, 130 millimeters uh, again, 6.6, .6, 1900 max damage. 9% fire chance and the main battery maximum firing range is 18.2 kilometers AA defense not bad not great but not bad at uh, 51 uh, you've got plenty of assorted AA guns there so 6.2 kilometers DPS 48 6.2 DPS of oh, mouse has gone a bit strange <sighs> probably got some dust in it there we go. Um, 6.2 kilometers DPS of 23, uh, 3.6 DPS of 15, and 1.4 DPS of 53. So these are, eh, they're not great. I mean, what's that? 71 between them. Um, that's not, not fantastic, but it ain't bad. It ain't bad. Maneuverability, she's 31 knots. Have we got a speed flag on? Very probably. Uh, we'll have a look in a second and see what flags we're flying. Um, 730 meter turning circle radius and 11.2 second rudder shift. So yeah, she's she's okay in a straight line. Uh, 
Turning Circle isn't bad at all for a battleship, but uh, the rudder shift, even though that's pretty good for a battleship, it does seem to take an age. Uh, concealment wise, 16.4 by sea, 12 by air. Um, Captain does not have the Concealment Expert mod, so yeah, there's that. Um, if we have a quick look at the modules here, you'll see that we have Main Armaments Mod 1, we have Aiming System Mod 1 uh, to get better dispersion, because the gun dispersion is pretty bad. Damage Con uh, Mod 1 there, and Steering Gear Mod 2. And that, that 11.2 on here, that's with that. Mm. So it ain't going to get any better than that. So, okay. Uh, ammunition consumables. Right, you've got a spotting aircraft, which you can swap out for a fighter. I would recommend going for the fighter. I would also recommend repair party 2. And obviously, damage control party uh, yeah, we shall we shall have you definitely. Um, okay, so we are set there. Let's have a quick look at the flags, see what we're flying. Uh, this is the the standard camouflage that she comes with, um, and that is the other one that we won. So minus three plus four plus fifty percent XP. Minus three, plus four, plus fifty percent XP. So you don't get any bonus um, over and above what you would normally get with the ship. So it's pretty uh, cosmetic only, really, the changes. So you'll see here we've got the AA bonus. We have the secondary bonus. We have the minus five percent on the consumable reload. We've got the speed flag. We have the plus twenty percent for the repair party and we have the please don't blow me up flag uh, plus 50 percent commander xp that may seem odd with a maxed out commander but i'll explain why in a minute and uh, plus 20 percent credits because we're trying to get this number a bit higher again so we can actually afford to buy stuff mm. so why concentrate on commander xp well when your commander is ranked out at 19, any XP he earns goes here. And this you can attribute to any of your commanders. So your elite commander XP, you could add on to a commander that, I don't know, you just want to get to level 10, say, um, and he needed another 10,000 XP. You could take that 10,000 from that pool there, use it the same as you would do free XP. So that makes sense okay so we're going to do what we always do we're going to take her into a co-op we're going to see how she handles with the uh, the 19 point commander as compared to what she was like previously i forget what i had in her previously i think it was a six point maybe um possibly off of one of the cruisers so let's have a look and see what we end up against we're of course tier six and we end up in a tier 8 game. Well, that seems fair, doesn't it? Okay. So. We're going to be wanting to get as much in as possible damage-wise on the uh, cruisers, I think. And there's only two of them. Prince Eugen and the Nuremberg. The rest are all battleships. So it's going to be a bit of a bruiser game, I think. Now we do stand good chance of damaging the tier 8 battleships uh, if they're broadside to us but they are going to need to be broadside otherwise we're going to have to burn them down with HE so what have we got over here we have a Tirpitz let's just take her up to a uh, quarter speed and see where everyone starts going have the Prince Eugen there that's not a boat that I've been tempted to get, to be honest. That is one of the premiums I've not been tempted to get. Uh, the old Prince Eugen. It's... It is the hipper, basically. And it seems like a carbon copy. Um, yeah. So I've not been particularly... Uh, 
keen on getting that one. Now it looks like the uh, Eugen is going directly south. It looks like the uh, Sweet Home Alabama is following as well as the Colorado. So I'm going to head that way but I'm not going to turn too much. Now remember what I said about the uh, the angling being important. Yeah, with this boat it really is. Um, if you catch a Dunkirk broadside, shoot it with AP. Shoot it a lot with AP um, because you will penetrate it. You really will. The Dunkirk, if it looks like that in front of you, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Right, so we do have, uh, oh we got the Prince Eugen and the Tirpitz there. Now you see if I had the spotter aircraft I could fire now. But really I don't want to. Not just yet. Now the Eugen is now in range. And turning. So I'm going to guesstimate about there. Let's see how we do. I might need to lead it a bit more, but uh, you see the dispersion on the shells? Oh, uh, I was in the ballpark there, but uh, not quite close enough. And we do have an awful lot of ships over here, don't we? Hmm. And don't forget my range is not all of that fantastic. So, we've got seven seconds on the timer. We're going to lead it by about... 12 I think because we'll be speeding up oh we got did we get a hit I don't think we did you know that's not a lot of fun is it okay so let's line up the HE because the uh, Nagato is now in range uh, the Oigan is there but let's go from the Nagato shall we let's lead her slightly And we will, yeah, we've got a hit on her. But you see what I mean about the uh, the damage not being all that particularly great on the higher tier ships with the AP. I mean that Tirpitz broadside, really, I should have AP in. But you know, what can you do? Uh, five seconds on the Tirpitz, we'll double it. And now we're getting fired at, so I need to. Uh, play the Dunkirk game. Okay, we took out the torps on the Tirpitz, which is nice. We are being aimed at by two ships. And we are being hit. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, get some hits on the Tirpitz. A nice bit of fire would be good. We did get that uh, critical damage, so there we go, we've got a fire on her. Hopefully that will stick for a little bit. Yep, we are getting hurt quite bad here, so I'm going to hit the repair. Um, and I'm going to look at Nagato next. Uh, 6.3, that should be enough. We're still being aimed at by three ships. There we go. We got a fire on the Nagato. I'm just going to angle a little bit. There we go. We take slightly less damage there when we're angled. Uh, oh, Nagato. You're there and you need to burn again, I feel. Oh, we're getting hit from over here, from the Nuremberg. Okay. We did get the hit there, but uh, not as much as we could have done. That Nuremberg's annoying. Let's uh, let's see what we can do about him, shall we? I'm going to repair because I really don't have a great deal of. Uh oh, we took out his steering. That's nice. Yeah. I don't have a great deal of health left. 
And we really need to hit that Nuremberg and take him out. It's nice having the uh, slightly quicker reload. Let's see if we can kill the Nuremberg. Oh yes, there we go. One less Nuremberg in the world. Marvellous. Okay. And I could really do to repair about now. Still being aimed at by two ships. Probably these two over here. Uh, I'll put you about there. Let's zoom in, see how they do those shells. They may not have been going as quick as I thought. Uh, what do we get? An over pen there. Mm. Okay. Should be ready to fire again very shortly. He's almost at a stop there, isn't he? So, let's see if we can get a, uh, a citadel on him. No, we did get a decent hit though, but not as much as I would have liked. He's just starting to pick up his speed there, so... So let's spread the shells very slightly. Well, how are we going to do? Oh, shatters. Oh dear. No bueno. Well, that Alabama is almost down, which is nice. We are not being aimed at now. So that's good. Uh, I'm going to put the shells in about there. Uh, we do have the Colorado over there. And we should be able to heal up a little bit more any moment. Okay, we didn't get a hit on the Nagato, which is a shame. But that Dunkirk is coming into range. So, let's try her. And we can heal a little bit more health there. And we do have the Colorado coming up over here. Oh, nice, we've got a couple of reset flags there on her. Now this is a tier 8 game so you know don't be too hard on the old girl she's doing okay. Uh, let's try about there for the Colorado. Might have needed to give it a little bit more lead but now we've got the reset that's what we're after. And we've got the HE coming into the barrel so that should be okay. Uh, I'm being aimed at by one ship possibly the Dunkirk and I'm giving her broadside and that's probably not a good thing to do there we go we've got a fire on it and a reset I'm going to turn away from oh ow oh dear <laughs> Let's see if we can get another fire on the, the Colorado. We'll go for the front of the ship. See if we can get another fire. No, we did get the reset though. And we are chipping away at our health. Uh, we're not being aimed at now, so let's put HE aside for a second. We'll try some armor piercing. Uh, oh! She's down. Okay. Alright. The Dunkirk. Let's see. Oh, I've got AP going in. Okay. Well, it may not be all that terrible. I am going to heal again. Okay. That's it, girl. Keep turning. Keep turning. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Show me your side. Oh. oh, didn't give it quite enough lead, but we are possibly overturning there. I'm conscious that I've got one behind me there, I've got the Colorado behind me. Right, she is turning her guns towards me, I need to turn into her. 
Get around, get around, get around, get around. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Three seconds. I reckon about there. That should be very nice. Yeah, 8,000 damage. Lovely. Give her some angle so she can't citadel me. And possibly, possibly, no. I was going to say possibly get a shot in before she dies, but uh, nope. Okay, so we have the Colorado here. Colorado probably there. Let's try that. Where are you going, shells? Uh, it wasn't a bad guess, was it? And the Colorado's down. Oh no, no, Colorado got... Oh, Colorado. Oh no. That's no bueno. Right, I have the final heal. And that Colorado should be steaming round here. I'm going to put my fighter up. Not because there's anything in the air, but because it might spot him for me. And it does. This is good. So with any luck, has that fighter comes round? And what I don't want to do is get too close. Colorado is aiming at our oh, Nagato over there or Nagato if you prefer uh, he's probably getting steam up now so I'm going to uh, stick reverse on and I'm going to turn into him very slightly because he's going to reveal himself to me there and I should hopefully be able to get a lovely hit on him 10,000. Beautiful. This is what we want. And we'll open him up for secondaries. We'll hit our repair. Um, yeah. We need to hopefully start reversing. Two seconds. Probably. There. Go on. In the middle. Nice citadel. So we've got a lovely hit on him. Angle. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, and we should be on a far quicker reload than he is. Now, I don't think we're going to get him in this salvo, but we shouldn't do too bad. If we go for under the guns. 7,000, no. Okay. Keeping that angle. Now, he's turning into us now. So I need to go for AP damage on the superstructure, but he can only get four guns on us, which is nice. So let's see if we can take one of those guns out. No, okay. HE going in. I might even put AP in for the next one because he's he's kind of heading. No. It's definitely going to be HE because he is going to turn around the island there. I thought he was going to turn back in, but apparently not. So let's get some fires on him. We really are down to our last little bit of health here. Now he's trying to get the guns round at the back there. I need to angle a bit. Let's see if we can get some fires. Oh, 4,000. We should get him. We should get him, but will he get us? Oh, we are down at 585 hit points. Yeah, that's not a lot. <laughs> oh, we lived. Just. <laughs> Tier 8 match, that. That's not bad. That isn't bad. So... 
the Dunkirk, how did she fare? 105,235 damage, 74 main battery shell hits, 38 pens, 13 non-pens, 14 over-pens, 9 bounces. Mm. Two incapacitations, one ship sunk, four fires, two citadels, seven defended uh, ribbons, and two secondary hits there. Let's have a look at the uh, the score. Do you know what? Considering the Colorado is a tier seven ship, the Tirpitz and the Oigan and the Alabama, Alabama even, um, were tier eight. To come second on the team, and only by five points, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Let's have a quick look at the detail report there. Yep, that Colorado, we got some decent hits on her. 25,000 in fire damage, which... Do you know what? If you're faced with a match where you are bottom tier, and you know that pretty much your shells aren't going to do a great deal, unless something is 90 degrees in front of you, broadside, dead on, then why not use the HE shells? You know, if you're not getting the damage with the AP, why not? Um, and you'll see here, as I was saying, that 2188 Commander XP uh, was moved into uh, Elite Commander XP. So 141,945 credits, 1,823 XP and 92 free XP. I'm happy with that. And that is the Dunkirk with a 19 point captain. Now, yep, no doubt if we'd have got into a you know game where I was top tier, we could have probably done better. But considering the start of that game and the fact we sailed into pretty much... I don't know, two thirds of the enemy fleet. Um, I'm happy with that. I think we did okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Have you been in a match where you're bottom tier but, you know, managed to pull it through? Hmm? Let me know. Be interested. So, you know what to do if you enjoyed the video. The old like button loves a little tickle. If you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe and tick that little bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified when I put a video up but that is more than enough from me for now so thank you ever so much for watching guys but for now it's Captain Random signing off take care and I'll see you again in the next one